What's up guys, it's Yvonne. So in our previous videos, we just did a little sequence on Google AdWords and how you can create your ads on that platform. In this series, I want to focus on Facebook ads and show you how you can create the ads, how you can optimize them and all that stuff. Um, so let's begin. I have here my Facebook page. You can either create a different page only for marketing or you can keep the page that you have totally up to you here in this case I've created a new page to show you guys and go through the process from scratch so first thing we need to do is click on this little arrow button here at the very top and let's say create ads so wait a little bit for it to connect so the first thing that comes up don't get intimidated there's a lot of different information here is what's your marketing objective what are you trying to accomplish through your ad are you trying to build awareness which is people just knowing that your brand exists they may not necessarily click but they will know that hey this thing exists okay you can generate only traffic or maybe you want store visits people to actually visit your store or you want to reach as many people as possible things like that figure out what you want for our example we'll be going with just pure and simple traffic to our website now you may be looking at this and saying well what's the difference between conversions and traffic this one as you can see sends more people to a destination and this one drives valuable actions well if you drive traffic isn't the point to convert that traffic so the answer to that is yes absolutely but with Facebook, because they have so much information on literally anyone who uses Facebook, uh, or, or maybe even people who even don't, um, the, the conversions uh, goal here, basically Facebook optimizes and shows your ads to people that are more likely to convert. So Facebook knows all that information, and I'll go into a tool you can use as well to get some of that information yourself. But basically, if you are trying to generate a lead or make a sale, I would probably recommend going with conversions. Now, we would need to input a pixel onto our, our pages or, or whatever networks, affiliate networks we're using. But it's possible that you would get way more conversions by clicking here because Facebook optimizes it for you, okay? For the purpose of our example, we will just be using this basic traffic. It's very simple to do. We don't need to input pixels. We will, but we don't have to, to track it, okay? And that's why I'm going to use traffic. Now, we could input our campaign name. So in all of our previous examples, we've been using a diabetes loophole, a random product we picked off ClickBank, and we will keep on using it here to stay consistent. The option here you have, it says create a split test. What this allows you to do, I'm, I'm not going to check mark it now. Basically, what within your ad creation process, it allows you to create split tests right there and then. We don't necessarily need to do this because we can create our own split tests after we create our ad. So I'm just not going to complicate things and I'm just going to make it very nice and easy. We're going to create one campaign, one ad group, one ad and then we can create split tests in a future video without having to check mark this okay so right now the goal is just to have that ad on there that's it we just want to have the ad up and running so i've done that let's click create ad account let's pick our country let's pick our currency and we'll pick our time zone of course uh we'll say yes so now we have two parts left so now we need to work on the ad set so we've done our campaign which determined what the objective is now we need to work with the ad set and the ad sets differ between each other so just like in google adwords we have the campaign ad group and ad for facebook it's pretty much the same thing it's campaign ad set and ad right big difference and the difference between ad set uh, between ad sets is all these basically so you have a difference in whether you want it to be on uh an app, increase the number of visitors to a mobile or desktop application or a website or a messenger. So we're putting, getting people to our website, right? So this doesn't really matter. Uh, drive more traffic by creating an offer. So we can create a, maybe a Facebook page, which will have an offer here. Uh, don't worry about these too much. The main ones, the really biggest main one is the audience. So the interest, the demographics, and the location, okay? So just like in Google AdWords, same thing. So we need to put in some interests that we want our target audience to be, which is why I'm saying Facebook is extremely, will, will be able to extremely, extremely narrow down your audience. So let's put something in. I mean, let's just say 18 to 25. Let's say United States, right? But again, you can do whatever you want. If I say Canada, 
I can include it or I can exclude it by, let me see, I would say here, exclude, okay? So that's how you would do that. Uh, pick men, uh, women, all, enter a language. I'll just say English, all. And then here is where really the magic of Facebook happens. This is something that you can't do anywhere else. You can input your interests and you can really narrow down your audience and really reap the rewards of if you do this right. So let's go with interests and let's say, you know, we're recommending diabetes. Maybe one of our interests would be like a diabetes loophole type of page. Now, this isn't exactly the right way to do this. Uh, what I mean by that is if you can't just put pick the interest of whatever group you're selling that's way too broad that's way too broad okay so i'll get more into that later and i'll show you roughly how to use this audience insights tool i'm not going to go into too much in depth there but that's something you can use to really narrow down your audience here for the for the example just for illustrative purposes i'll say you know Di diabetes uk for this and leave it at that you can also exclude a particular group of people or you can have it so that people like this page like this page and like this page it has to be all three together so you would use narrow audience or you would exclude people if you want someone who likes this page but who doesn't like this page right so you would do the same thing here uh, and again at demographics interests or behaviors connections uh people who like your page so uh leave that as is you can save this audience so that for the future if you want to split test again you can save it and then just make minor changes um I would actually recommend edit placements. I would not recommend automatic placements. Of course, Facebook wants to make money, so they're going to recommend this for you, but you have more control if you say edit, right? And over here, you can say whatever it is you don't want to show. So if you don't want to show on mobile, like we discussed in our previous video where, you know, your mobile site is not very good at the moment and you're still working on it, maybe say desktop only. And then you can also adjust. So if you don't want... Okay, well, it's 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 ineligible. Instagram is ineligible on desktop only anyway, so that's fine. But if you say, for example, all devices, if you don't want your ads to show on Instagram, you can just uncheck these guys or just that, right? And that's not going to show on Instagram at all. You can also include, specific, like this is way more specific than Google um, Google ads because you can also say which specific devices you want to show or not, or and, and you can make your ad show only when someone's connected to Wi-Fi or not. So that's that little category there. Um, that's type of the same thing. So exclude or include these different categories in your list, kind of like interests. You set your daily budget here. Let's make it five bucks because I'm not actually trying to spend money with this site. It's it's horrendous. And you can specify a start dot time or run your ad continuously. So continuously five times. You'll spend no more. I'm not sure why. Oh, okay, there you go. So five times seven is 35, that made sense. And let me see what you have in the advanced options. Yeah, so here uh, you can also kind of just like we did in, in Google where you can let Facebook enhance your bids if they see that there's higher chances of people clicking or you can manual, you can enter whatever bid you want to and kind of keep it at that, right? That's the maximum you're willing to pay for a click. And again, you can make it based on impressions. You can make it based on unique reach. Um, depends on what you want a lot of people are doing it based on impressions they're paying a certain amount based for every thousand views but then you need to have a good uh ctr rate uh it's what does it stand for again click through rate and you need to make sure that your ad is very relevant if you're doing that because if you have a thousand impressions you get zero clicks you're dinked for it right you're paying for that still so we do that um yeah again same as with google ads well i didn't really touch upon this point in that uh video but Accelerated means it shows your ads as quickly as possible. It can, you know, run through your entire budget in, in one hour, whereas standard kind of spreads it evenly throughout the day. So that's up to you how you want to do it. So now that we've set up, let's actually create our ad. So you can create a carousel, which kind of has several images showing people at the same time. You have just one image. You have a single video. You have a slideshow of videos and you have a canvas that combines everything so we can do that let's go with single image just for simplicity uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you actually have to i think you actually have to include an image so let's just browse some free stock photos now the really cool thing about facebook ads is that facebook has a partnership with stock photos 
So you can get these really cool photos for free if you're advertising with Facebook. So if we type in happy, it's probably going to give us a ton, a, a much higher variety. So let me take that picture, put it up. Uh, you can also crop it, I think. Yeah, there you go. So you can you know make it whatever you want to. And here you would put in your website URL. So that one for our example is this. That's fine. And our text, please select you must assert with your ads. Okay, so we may need to create a Facebook page to associate with this ad because someone needs to show this page, right? Uh, we can't have just the page come out of nowhere. Now, if we don't include desktop newsfeed, then we don't need to do this. So if we turn off newsfeed, it can just it can just show to people like on the right side. Uh, see, so in the desktop right column, that's really the only place you can see it. In that case, you don't have to create a page, but newsfeed is generally the most kind of the most popular place where people see ads and click on it because as they scroll down if they see a nice image or a nice video they stop for a while they listen to it they see what's going on right so uh let me just see let me go back for a second to placements i want to move my here okay there you go so if you click on uh facebook here just just going back for one second uh you can remove it from your newsfeed right there okay and then you wouldn't see that newsfeed uh page and you wouldn't have to create a new page um and you can remove it from right column so actually i would probably recommend that that's not very useful and instant articles i would probably not recommend that either so i would actually recommend just keeping it at newsfeed so now we can continue so for the format, same thing. We just did this and I deleted everything. No problem. We'll do it again. Okay, so we do need to create a Facebook page for this. So let's just create a page quickly. So let's say brand or product. So we got this loophole. It shouldn't take it that long to make one. Health booty. And create is invalid. We have suggested diabetes loophole. Okay. They recommend capitalizing it. Let's do that. A profile picture is required. It's not giving me a space to put it up. Okay. Let's try. Okay, there you go. Um, well, let's get a picture real quick, I guess. I'm going to go to pixabay.com. I was going to say happy here download a picture that one fits with our picture on the actual image just click view lucky right i'll save image oz as a woman and put it to my desktop and just get that get out of the way okay so that should be fine now. Okay, so now let's say again, diabetes loophole, choose category. So you would have to do this kind of for whatever product it is you're doing. But I think after we do this, that should be fine. We should have this page that we would control. And actually, I'll get into this later on as well. This is also pretty useful anyway, because people actually will randomly every once in a while go to your page and like it. And eventually, you'll get a big following, a big like, and, and that's also something you can pay for. So you can have this nice page promoting your products. And when people actually click on that thing and saying, you know, who is this that's, that's recommending me this product, they're going to see a lot of good reputation associated with it. So it, 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 it's a good idea to create a page anyway. So after that, what we could do, so we need to put in the URL. Let me see, it didn't let me do that last time. So there's that. So we need to link it to a website. And it's going to say marketingsuccess.site. You can create a call, on, call to action button. So if we want someone to buy something, we can say, oh, well, there's no buy here. So maybe let's say sign up if you want them to sign up or maybe download or apply now or just have no button at all. 
well, let's say learn more. Okay, let's keep it at that for now. Display link, this is the link that displays. Now we have it there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so that's that just shows up automatically based on that. So that's fine. So let's create some text. So this took it automatically from our SEO information on our ClickFunnels page. Um, as you recall, if you try to save it, if you just create a new page and you try to save it and leave it, it's going to prompt you to kind of enter SEO details. Okay, so that's where this came from automatically. Uh, and that is fine. We'll set up cre uh, Facebook Pixel later on, but let's do this. Let's create A, let's say B and C. So we know what goes where and we can adjust it. So that's B, that's A, that's C. Okay, so let's work with uh, maybe B first. Let's say, are you tired of having to deal with this? And then write, write whatever it is applies to you. Usually questions work very well or, or something that, that, that engages the audience, of course, right? Uh, something to which they could say yes, yes, yes. And then let me click and see what's going on. This ad really understands me. So that's why it's important to have the proper audience because then you can target the right people and connect, right? That's the main thing. That's how you sell. You target the right people and you connect with them. So let's say, you know, are, are, are you tired of having to deal with this, you know, not working properly? I don't know anything about diabetes. I don't know anything about this product. So I'm just making stuff up. Um, put whatever it is you want that applies to your product. For headline, that's A. Let's say download this awesome book now for only $30, whatever it is, okay? Uh, Newsfeed link description, let's say this thing will do very well for you and it will cure you of everything okay so something like that maybe some other additional details after we do that we can click on place order and you would have to input your information here so i'm just going to be right back in one second okay so i am back and here as you can see it says pending review so it has to go through a review process in order for our ad to show up let me okay so that just recommends some columns for us we'll get into that as well we're going to add some important columns that we'll need to use and that's pretty much it so we've created our first ad now let me just see it says campaigns where's our ad set so i'm used to working with power editor which is right here. So what you, what, what you can do is just go click up top here, go to Power Editor. It has a few more options that we can use and that's fine. It's going to take you here. And then here, as you can see, it says campaigns, ad sets, and ads, all right? And it should give us a notification saying, thanks for creating your first ad. So we should see everything here. See, active. And still loading. Here's your date range. Okay, let me just pause this so it doesn't go. I definitely don't want people to see that ugly page. But that should be it. Let me just wait for this thing to load so we kind of complete our our video here properly without um, default name traffic without screwing up. Yeah, so this one we didn't name it properly before okay so here's where you name your ad name if you have multiple ads let's say maybe you know ad with uh lady picture you know whatever it is lady picture happy right that's the one that we've done now once you make any changes you need to go to the top right click review changes and say apply and it should apply there and after that it should be good to go so we'll just wait for a little bit says here your changes have been applied awesome and that is it so there you go we've created our first campaign our first ad set our first ad everything's good to go uh stay tuned for next videos we'll go over into some other features such as adding the pixel uh split testing and kind of seeing what works what doesn't so if you enjoyed the video please leave it a thumbs up if you have any questions comments or concerns uh, leave them down below. Please subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.